types and detoxifications and this is a glycogen as well as for release of calcium and uh, other such processes all days based on liver cells and uh, the liver cells will be the liver cells so and liver cells will be the best for which will be abundant quantities after which we have a lot of quantity and a lot of quantity can be also used in hormone hormone secreting cells because hormone secreting cells require what is required protein and for this they require they are having hormone secreting cells after the cell uh, components they are uh, cellular components which also require a protein structure so this protein structure is also made with the help of protein formed by graphitoplasmic reticulum ribosomes after which let us discuss about its synthesis first from the outer nuclear membrane of nucleus the vesicles are produced and vesicles are produced from outer nuclear membrane these vesicles collectively arrange in a vertical line to form a tubule and these tubules collectively arrange together in order to form the graphitoplasmic reticulum which is basically endoplasmic reticulum in general after which ribosomes attach with the graphitoplasmic reticulum by the riboforin protein which causes them to attach together and form the structure of graphitoplasmic reticulum after which the graphitoplasmic reticulum synthesizes smooth endoplasmic reticulum after which the smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes golgi body and the golgi body itself synthesizes ribosomes on the other side endoplasmic reticulum and golgi body collectively form the vacuole on the other side we are having another example of this as a uh, transport of material from first endoplasmic reticulum to golgi body to lysosome vacuole and that is also the reason why these are known as endomembrane side system these are this is also reason that they are known as endomembrane system this is also reason that golgi body and endoplasmic reticulum lysosome vacuole are known as endomembrane system after which uh, we are having some internal structures so the structure of endoplasmic reticulum is such that it is only having the lipoprotein bilayer phospholipid bilayer lipoprotein bilayer but they are not having any other sort of structure these are only having lipoprotein bilayer which are having foldings which are having foldings forming flatted sac like structure known as cisternae and this cisternae is having a human cavity inside it causing to form a cisternal cavity or human a uh, cisternal cavity or human cavity cisternae is having a cavity human cavity or cisternal human after which uh, we are going to discuss about uh, a few other points regarding uh, the cis phase and trans phase of endoplasmic reticulum that this side of uh, endoplasmic reticulum this side of endoplasmic reticulum which is present towards the nucleus is known as cis phase whereas the side which is present on the outer side of the nucleus is known as trans phase the side which is present towards the nucleus is known as cis phase whereas the side of uh, endoplasmic reticulum which is present towards the cytoplasm is known as trans phase so cis phase towards the nuclear membrane and trans phase is towards the cytoplasm or plasma membrane after which the cis phase extends from the nuclear membrane whereas trans phase extends towards the plasma membrane and this whole structure collectively extends from the nucleus to the cytoplasm so that's all about this video hope you enjoyed